Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. Today I am making sweet potato cobbler inspired by Collard Belly Cooks. Okay guys, so for the sweet potato casserole, we have some flour, we have the 40 ounce cans of the Bruce's yams, which is really cut sweet potatoes and syrup. We have some sugar, we have some cinnamon, a stick of melted butter, and a half of a cup of brown sugar. So these are all the ingredients we need and we get ready to get started. Okay, y'all, so I've already put the flour in here. One cup of flour. We're gonna use the cup, one cup method. A cup, a cup, a cup. Um, you can use this method for all of your cobblers. That's what I do. So anyway, so we have a, ooh, a cup of flour. This is a cup of sugar. Y'all didn't need to see me pour flour and sugar. Uh, one thing I didn't show you just now was this milk. We're gonna use a cup of milk. So we're using a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, a cup of milk, half cup of brown sugar. Um, and I'm gonna put this one stick of melted butter. Just go ahead and put that in the pan. See that? So I got my stick of melted butter. This is real butter that I'm using. Uh, my butter is actually unsalted, but if you have salted butter, I would say use that. Just like my milk is 2%. But with all this sugar, you might as well use whole milk if you got it. But I don't have whole milk. Um, we, uh, oh yeah, I use the same cup to measure all this stuff with. So that's why I mix like that. But um, you putting all this sugar and stuff in it and it's a cobbler. Why not just use whole milk if you got it? So anyway, I need to wipe this sugar up. Y'all, it's gonna drive me, well, it's not gonna drive me crazy, but <laughs> let me put this over here. Um, all you do is just stir this up. Can y'all see me? I'm getting ready to wipe this sugar up, I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. And then, I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon into it. Now, I got this recipe from Pilot Valley Cooks. She, I don't think she added her cinnamon into this mixture. She put it directly on top of the sweet potatoes. Since this is going on top of the sweet potatoes, I'm putting this on top of the sweet potatoes. I actually have never had sweet potato casserole, or no, this is sweet potato cobbler. But when you make your peach cobbler, this is a simple way, simple method to make peach cobbler. I see a lot of people making peach cobbler um, and I see them making it every, using a lot of different techniques. But to me, it's really simple and easy to do. I dump these inside of the bowl. Um, they look good. They don't look that big and chunky. See how they look? They do look pretty. It looks so pretty, y'all. I'm meshing them up. I'm gonna taste them. I don't know, I, I have never had, which they call, they're called yams. I never had these before. I never had um canned, not that I can recall, canned sweet potato. Okay, so this is sweet. Um, it's not really sweet, that sweet though. And I'm gonna add me a pinch of salt. This is a fourth of a teaspoon measure. And if you can see, I got like half of that. So we're gonna see that if that's our pinch of salt. Yeah, actually. I'm just want a pinch of salt because salt enhances flavor and this don't this didn't taste like it has salt in it in y'all see some brown piece floating in there and i also have some pure vanilla and i'm probably going to add this one fourth for a teaspoon of vanilla to it Ooh, well just a little more than that all right there we go all right 
Now, we're gonna mix this up. And I saw something floating. Little brown pieces of potato. We'll take that and put it in the pan. All right, I see another one. But anyway, we'll get it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside of the pan. I got me a disposable pan, y'all. I was gonna use a dish. Yes, I do have dishes, <laughs> casserole dishes. But um, I just got a pan because if I get a pan, I don't have to wash it. Yeah, and I'm it's, today is a busy day. So anyway, um, this is my stick of butter. Putting, rolling it around, 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 around. All right, so we're gonna put this in. All of this. I keep seeing that little brown piece. It's all right, it ain't gonna hurt nobody. I've been thinking it's like a little hard piece of potato. Though. Might just be a little bit of skin. I think it's just a little bit of skin left on me. And I didn't get it off. There it is, y'all. Okay. Can y'all see me? Okay, dokey. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and put this all Spoon this around. As y'all can see, I kind of just chopped it up a little bit. Ooh. So we don't have big chunky chunks in it. And voila. <laughs> so we're gonna put that to the side. And now we have our half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm gonna sprinkle this on a little bit. And try to distribute it around and around and around. And then put all that in. And the cobbler cover. So like I said, a cup, a cup, a cup. And if you never had that before, you know you don't stir it well. You don't stir it up. Like you just pour the this cobbler cover on it and do not mix. Just try to distribute it evenly, as evenly as you can across. And don't mix it up. I have my oven preheated on 350 degrees and Tammy says she left it in there for 40 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for 40 minutes. Put it in there, see how it looks, y'all? And then we're gonna see how it comes out in 40 minutes. Okay, so here it is, guys. Um, Maybe my can had more juice than hers. I don't know because, see, look, this is like the, the um, crust didn't cover. Certain spots just peeked out of it, but Looks like cobbler to me. Smells good. That crust. So, anyway, what matters? It does look good and cobbly. <laughs> so, let's find out how it tastes. Let's see. So, it looks like a cobbler, like the sweet potato cobbler. And another thing, I think her my dish was uh, bigger than hers. But anyway, so here we go. Here's the plate of cobbler, sweet potato. So let's see how it tastes. Okay, like I said, this is my first time tasting a sweet potato cobbler. So let's give it a taste. Hot, hot. Mmm. 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 It tastes good. Um. It reminds me, definitely reminds me of peach cobbler and a sweet potato casserole. Look at that crust. So it's good, y'all. Oh, ooh, hot. I recommend letting it cool off <laughs> before you eat it. But um, yeah, I would try this again. It's simple, easy. It's probably like you would imagine it tasting. It's like the 
peach cobbler made with sweet potatoes. Like a sweet potato casserole cobbler. So if you never had it, I would recommend giving it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you plan on trying this recipe. Mm. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Don't forget to spread love all around. And let me know if you ever had sweet potato cobbler before. <laughs>